Hi everybody. What do you do when you've got a modern Strat tremolo that keeps breaking strings? What's causing it? Well, I had one into the workshop today. I thought it'd be an ideal opportunity to show you how to fix it. What you can see here is the high E saddle. And I mean, that's as close, unfortunately, as the camera will go. But you take my word for it, there is actually a small line in there uh, where the string has kind of rutted the uh, surface of the metal. And I think what we're going to do here is I've got a very thin piece of 600 grit paper and I'm just going to pass it through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replicate the lie of the string as it comes sort of over and down through the loop here. And I'm just going to try and take out as much of that sharpness as I can. Oh, I've broken it. Yeah, it won't last forever. You have to, you'll go through lots of this. And I'm going to do it with 600 first. Now that piece isn't really long enough now. And then I'm going to go back once I've got the rut out. And you'll be able to see it. Um, if I get my reading glasses actually as well, I'll be able to see it a little better. Um, I've almost got it, but not quite. I have to cut some more. Now I'm going to do this with 600, which is this stuff here. 600, standard 600, wet and dry. Um, and then I'm going to do it with 12 to polish it, and then with a 2000 to put an even finer polish on it. What we're going to try and do is remove as much friction from the bridge saddles as possible to reduce any chance of the strings getting snagged up and snapping. So now I'm onto the 2000 paper, and we're really starting to see a result here uh, where the back and top the string lie on this saddle is very, very smooth and very, very polished. You notice I've, I'm using quite long strips from all the way across the paper because it just makes it so much easier to do. You know, maybe have to hold them so tight. Um, now, I don't know how well you can see that, but that's pretty polished now. And that's very unlikely to snag a string and break it. Um, so I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to do this to the rest of the guitar. And unfortunately, there's no way to be absolutely certain that you've got a good repair apart from giving it back to the customer and uh, letting him try it out for a couple of gigs and see if his strings last, I guess. But um, I, I can visually see that that's polished and it's flat. And if that doesn't cure the problem, then we're going to have to go for another set of saddles. But I think this will cure it. And I've done it many times before. And there we go. It's all strung up again. I'm just about to take it to the tuner and intonate it. Um, I've set the action. Everything is working as it should do. Now the real test will be when the customer goes out and plays it this weekend and we'll see if it's still breaking this D-string. I shouldn't think so though. That is smooth and polished. See you next time. Thanks for watching.